Welcome back to the Bitter Betty Podcast. I'm Bitter Betty Deadhead here with my two cohorts. Bitter Betty Tova. And it's me, Carol with a D. Hey guys. Hours. Yep. Yep. Um yeah, we were just talking about uh how genius Tom is with his marketing and the, now we, the dude is he's so underrated in general. Like well, not I mean, just his like, music, yes. but like well, his I mind. look at I look at Tova and I see how hard she works. She goes to work, she's got her hair salon that she does every day, and then she's got the she goes to the gym and she coaches and it's like, okay, she's really working her ass off. She's trying to, to accomplish something so she can get somewhere in life. And then she comes and she shows up for this channel constantly and shows up for her channel. It's like you got to show up. You got to put the work in to make it somewhere, you know? And yeah. then you got Carol who works a 10 hour job and comes and shows her ass up for these things after work, you know? Like we work our ass off. Yeah, that's no, I can't do those 10 hour days anymore. This shit kills me. <laughs> I'm old. Yeah, I know. I know, I know I'll, I'll be sending them random texts like I want to go home I don't want to <laughs> be here okay. we need to get this channel flying guys so make sure you like and subscribe while you're here could you because we're all trying to like you know I'm trying yeah. to be able to stay behind the do. scenes and not you know uh, do all the beside, behind the scenes and not have to go out and get another job <laughs> man no yeah for I mean it's like the goal is eventually to not have to do so many like so many jobs or just do what i want that makes me happy like and i think that's the difference between like tom and and or like because i always think like how does he have so much belief in himself like especially when he thought other people didn't believe in him uh and like what what gets him up every day and motivates him to do what he does and he loves it like i don't i get up and go to work because i have to pay bills and taxes like I don't love what I'm doing. I, I love coaching, but I don't I don't necessarily love doing hair. Not anymore. Not after, not after 21 years. You know, I just, it's not the same. I don't get the same satisfaction I do as making content or, you know, coaching CrossFit and shit like that. So yeah, I just, you, uh, mm, when you, go when ahead. You, when you had asked Tom about the tattoos and, you know, and then, yeah. you know, I was like, he said that he's already working on a sketch. I'm like, dude, because he's right Yeah, he said he's, he's got like five. He's out here making all this stuff. And then he's also promoting for God Mo, trying to get all that done. I'm sure he's got interviews lined up. I'm yeah. sure he's got all kinds of things lined up. And yet he's still out here giving us what we all want. <laughs> he, hey, no, it's real. Like, so yeah, like, because yeah. Always, I'm like, I'm like how do you do time. that? I, I can't even chew gum and walk. Like. I know, I know. And then he still sure. takes the time to, to, to interact and talk mm-hmm. with the fans and show up on reaction pages and watch the reactions and leave comments. And, you know, he is incredible on how he's able to, like, keep shit together. And I'm sure at some points he feels like he's a mess. You know what I mean? Like, and, you know, and he's trying to keep it together. Or he has to take a break because he just, everything gets to him. I am sure it gets to him. And, but at the same time, it shows you like he still continues to have this drive, right? Like he started out smaller and then he had that success. So he liked that success. So that was a taste. So, okay, now I'm yeah. going to give more. And then he got more. And so then now he had that success and now he has more. But he yeah. still takes time to give to the fans at the same time. Like that has always been a constant. I know. He's always cared about the fans, you know, mm-hmm. he attributed his success to the fans and his supporters and those that love him. He knows, and he knows you guys, he knows yeah. who the real ones are and who aren't. He knows. Oh yeah. yeah. And yeah. you know, and he, he knows who's really there for him and who's supporting him or who's a fake fan. And if you've never heard it, go, go listen to the song. Cause he'll tell you about it. But like, for real. It, it's, it, and he's the one that brought us all three together. Right. And yeah. we attribute a lot of our success to what we've learned from Tom and we've learned like if you guys are down in our comments and you you you're leaving a nasty comment for whatever reason we will troll you we don't care (laughs) understand that 100 we have thick skin you will not get to us I'm just telling you you're not gonna so like because we learned from the best troll Mr. Tom McDonald like he's the best troll like I freaking love when he trolls I love when he picks up people that's right I got mine on too (laughs) Oh, there it is. I'm left out today. That is the only thing. That is. There we go. 
I love it. That is that that's is the only thing you're triggering. That's the main thing we'll respond with is thank you for triggering our algorithm. Right. Thanks for supporting the channel. Yeah. Thanks for Haters watching. Haters are just another form of a supporter, which is part of why like it's actually a form of flattery. It really is. Like, and the only reason, like, and they only they make up shit to hate Tom about it just because like he's so successful. Like, yes, you know, and like, that's all it is. We had the conversations, you know, recently about uh, the song and like him, you know, uh, some people seem to think he's disrespectful to the culture, to the hip hop culture um, because of his stance on how he feels about, Battle you know, um, well, it, not even just battle rap, but like, yeah, I mean, that's a big part of it, too, like that he can't be like a real MC or a goaded MC because he doesn't want to do diss tracks like or because like, you know, um you know, he calls out rappers of a particular content, which he's done since the beginning, but like that that's disrespectful because it's not necessarily bad. And he said in hell of it, like, you know, don't boycott mumble rap. Just know that if you eat at McDonald's, you're going to get fat. If you, um, if you listen to trash or if you listen to that music, basically your head fills with trash, you yep. know, so he's not saying like, don't boycott it necessarily. There's a lot of music that he likes that he is not going to share with other people, you know, because, a lot of people tend to talk shit or whatever, but it's like, there's just oh a certain, like he is moved and he talks about it in this video, which is why I'm bringing it up. But he talks about like, and it's in a joking way, but it's a very serious way. It was a serious moment in this video when he talks about his like, you know, uh, what do you call it? Not his mantra, but like uh, his motto, motto or whatever, you know, his, mm -hmm. or, you know, statement, his, like a mission statement, statement almost. mission mm -hmm. statement. That's what it was. The mission statement, mm -hmm. you know, and it's all about lifting people up and not tearing people down. And that's what diss tracks and stuff do. And it's just, um, yeah. Tom is a much more sensitive, caring person that's than he lets on a lot of times. But if you know what to people, look for, you, you see it. Right. And that's what a lot of people don't quite understand. I think is that y'all are out here trying to bait the man and he's not going to give you what you want. And when he does give mm -mm. you something, it's not going to be exactly what you want, but it's going to God mode. Solemn say it. Yeah. <laughs> here, here's what yeah. I got to say. For real no though. matter what, no matter what, whether you like him or not, he has your mother effing attention. He has your attention. Period. He's getting the and views. He's got, he's got your attention. Sitting there and trying to bait the man to, to, to battle rap you, though, like, all you're doing is you're doing it for clout at this point because he's not. Like, he's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he has his No, reasons. he's definitely not. And to be honest, I think you, as an artist or anybody out there, this ain't toward anybody in particular, but anybody out there that thinks that they, they're they going to call him out and, and hate on him and everything, what's the point? Like, Mm -hmm. unless unless you're really kind of jealous you know and that's fine too i mean like, well, like and tom they, says like any yeah any um any hey that's just that's just more clicks on his views and stuff so yeah well you know and it's, or you gotta just, use his name you know they they basically <laughs> just provide him <laughs> <laughs> all 11 inches so uh, i pray to god that you can deep throat got 11 inches for you weak hoes um no but like that the bitch. thing is it's funny because he you know they all the haters do not realize all they do is when he says like they're he those people are fueled with fire they're just giving him the material he needs to make his next big fucking hit right like mm -hmm. he, i mean you can't make some of the shit that goes up on in the world right now and and in our government and all of that like that shit just basically writes itself, but these haters and stuff, they basically give him what he needs to write and produce a song that's eight and a half minutes freaking long. So he's uh, going to come back and clobber you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like you give him, you, you give, you provide him the, the weapons and that's what Mac Lethal did. Uh -huh. He, Tom put out the bait track. Matt Lethal gave him a shit ton of stuff to go off of, right? Like, and Tom is yep. that dude. Like he's going to take every. Like he hears and sees things that people don't even hear and see. And let's like, be I, honest, just crazy to me. But let's be honest. There's there's many people who struggle with rapping two minutes straight. Try doing it for eight and a half minutes straight. Mm. Dude, with that type of aggression and anger and emotion and like, I, I don't even want to know how many takes it took to get like those parts perfect and stuff or whatever like i mean just well, he even said that he the mixing two, and mastering was amazing on that he track. even took two minutes out of the song 
Yeah. It yeah, was a ten and a half it. minute song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is even yeah. crazier. But he talks about that. Yeah, right? Does he talk about it in here? Yeah, I think he does. I think he does. I know he did in his yes, life. I know, but... I know for a fact he talks about it. Could you imagine a 10 minute fucking time? What did he leave out? That's my question. <gasps> he said that he was going to. Easter Which egg. Was... We'll have to watch. Yeah, the released but... original version. Well, I was thinking about the Easter egg. What if, yeah, what if it's original version or if it's what was left out? It could be. Well, he said the two and a half minute mark. Maybe. That's what was left out. It's either maybe maybe it's what was left out or or it could wow. be the original version, I guess. Because I mean what my question is, is what he left out gonna be its own song? I don't know, I don't know I mean, because he's two he put, minutes worth that's almost a that's a whole fucking song. Yeah. Almost or well, but he or, did say go ahead. I was gonna say, okay. but he did say like that he didn't necessarily like that that portion. Like he took out what was he says it in this, I think. Yeah, like he kind of like trimmed the fat off of it, yeah, so to speak. You know what I mean? Like kind of. Yeah, but yeah, he also whatever he says, didn't feel was as good. He told us that the, it the, a hint to the Easter egg though was that it was in the studio, and that if you look on the screen, that the one doesn't matter doesn't mean any, anything, and it's yeah. two 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 minutes and seven seconds is what it is, and seven two seconds minutes or thirty no 30 two minutes seconds. and thirty seconds. Is it? I thought it was. Oh, yeah. I have, no, it's two minutes Whatever. and seven seconds. I remember because I blew it up. Um, but anyways, oh, it was said one, one. Oh, two minutes and seven seconds. Yeah, but it was at the. Well, it's just at that point though. It's. It, I don't know that that's the length of it. Right. No. It right. was just that's where that line was stopped. But was the said, two minute and seven. But he told us line. that if we could. If we could figure out the title of the song, we'll understand. So what Carol's saying could actually be right. Because what if it's... Because he didn't say that it wasn't the song. He just said if you could figure out the title of the song. Hmm. So wouldn't we have to know the title of the song already to figure it out? Like, Because we don't know any new songs you know, that he might be coming out with. I know he's so it's so hard with him sometimes. Thomas, I know he's such a so mastermind. Hard. We could be way off. We could be like in left field over here, and he's out in right field, and we're just swinging yeah, our bat. Well, <laughs> the one at one he did tell me I was in the stratosphere. Yeah, of my guesses. So I know that I'm in the realm. But the stratosphere of... is huge. <laughs> so yeah, what I was mean, your, what was yours again? It, you you it, you said you thought it was like Roseanne or something uh, in a video. Well, no, I just like it was like gonna be some kind of like oh the Roseanne thing was more of a joke because of that interview, but like yeah, just a uh, a feature that we wouldn't expect someone he's never worked with before, something new, potentially. Um, but yeah, but no, when he said because I said it was just gonna be a feature, something we wouldn't expect because we know Tom doesn't do features which is or he doesn't allow just anybody on a song right he doesn't right. collaborate with just anybody right so it would have yeah. to be somebody on the same wavelength as him and like it would probably i guarantee it would be something like that they both were like addressing something more politically i have a feeling but but i don't know but i don't know i kind of like the i kind of like the extra bit of the song because like and he had then, a similar thing with race war in black and white where mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, one became the other song. So yeah, he's done that before. But then my theory was that the mark one fifty one minute fifty two second mark in God in God mode, he is in the studio, and he's doing this with his thumbs back to the monitor, and then he says that line about uh, the, uh, not live the movie of my life or, or what, what what is it something I have he said uh or he said um. Oh, if you want to, if you want to about know, being in I, my head. Oh, well, yeah, he says, uh, uh, it's, it's right. like, I know. It, um, he well, says can, that, let me take you back head, into tell, my head, tell you about the movie I lived. Movie I, I lived. lived. Yeah. And so I yeah. thought my personal opinion, I was, I was sitting there, I was listening to it over and over and over, trying to figure it freaking easter egg out well because i know and he like points at his head let me take you back into my head he does this tell you about the movie this. i live take head this like take you to the movie i live well and we'll then, see it in the video hopefully and yeah. we'll see 
Like, but that, then, that so I was thinking a documentary, and he's like, he asked me, he goes, now where would you get an idea like that? He didn't say no. He said, now where yeah. would you get an, an idea like that? So it has my head. He is a mastermind at misdirection, though, so. Mm. Yes, he is. It's very confusing. And, t- and Nova has actually talked about maybe a documentary before. So It'd be one cool. Day. It'd be about time. It'd be cool to tell, like, to have them really tell their story and, like, yeah, maybe even go to different locations and, but then he you did, know, yeah. where things happen. Then, then Tom, he goes, well, that would be a cool idea, though. So, but Tom is really, y'all, y'all, if y'all don't know, if y'all don't know, Tom, he will, look, there was a million people that guessed God mode and he said, nope. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to know, but. He won't tell us. Tom's all about his secrets. Thanks for coming by today, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified every time the bedies drop. Sometimes we go live. You don't want to miss it. Peace out. Till next time.